Marie here from Storts with our new incredible equipment. All right. Woo All right. All right. So this is your new latest and greatest updated CMAC airway platform, your one-stop airway solution for any standard or difficult airway that's coming through your doors. Um, you used to have the old monitor in the blue bag and the pocket monitor. You still have that. Plus, you have a brand new flexible scope for your patients with angioedema, uh, small mouth opening, C-spine. Um, that's gonna be a really great tool for you guys. So instead of the blue bag, your monitor is now on a cart, on button, and you now have, instead of reusable blades, you have disposable blades. And so you'll have adults and pediatrics. Adult shapes are Mac 3, Mac 4, and this hyperangulated D-blade for your, those difficult anterior airways. And then your pediatrics are going to be Miller Zero and Miller One. So though you may have few pediatric patients, you now have something to treat them with video laryngoscopy. This is your new pocket monitor. And this monitor, just pull it off. No twisting, no turning, just pull it off. It will attach to both your um, pediatric and adult blades, okay? So you just attach it like this, snap it on, you just open to turn it on. You've got great visualization. It'll have the bars at the top letting you know how much uh, battery is, in, is available. You can take pictures and video. That's what this blue button is for. So press it once to take a picture. Hold it down for a few seconds until it flashes green and that's taking your video, okay? So close it down to shut it off and this is your battery. So instead of putting the pocket monitor in the charging station, you now have a battery that's attached, okay? And while you're using one, a second one is charging. So now for your adult video laryngoscope. So you'll be looking at your monitor here. Um, you'll always see the tip of the blade in the screen, and that's our safety uh, feature so that uh, to prevent any soft palate perforations. So this is a D blade. You can use a regular stylet, disposable, all day long. Um, instead of the 25 degree angle for a Mac 3 or 4, I recommend hyperangulating the stylet to match the curve of the blade so that with those anterior airways, you're able to get the tube through the cords in that acute angle, okay? Um, again, with the blue button, that's for pictures and video and you'll have great visualization and optics, a little upgrade from what we had before, yeah. Um, you can also take pictures and video on the monitor. So this is your video, stop. This is your pictures. And this button is your toggle button. So let's say you have, um, you know, a patient comes in, you have to intubate, you go with the blade. It's a difficult airway, unexpected, you can't get it with the blade. With the touch of a button, you now have a flexible video scope at your fingertips in seconds. <laughs> so with this, um, you can just slide an ET tube up, go ahead and intubate, okay? Great visualization as well. This is reusable. Uh, this is your suction port at the top. You can also attach oxygen to blow debris out of the way. This is your working port, and you can take pictures and videos here as well, okay? There we go. That's your CMAC platform. Okay, and as we mentioned, these blades are disposable. So all of your supplies will be in this bottom bin, and the blades will be labeled Mac 3, Mac 4, or D for the hyperangulated D blade. So what you'll do is peel this open, your blade is inside, you slide the blade on just like this, and you're ready to intubate, okay? Um, after you go ahead and intubate, then you can just throw the plastic away, save this, and just wipe this down with a uh, orange or a green sani wipe and use a alcohol swab for the tip because that's the camera lens. If you would like to utilize the pocket monitor instead of the larger monitor, you can do that. Everything is transferable and interchangeable. So you would just pull the cable off. Again, no twisting or buttons, just pull it off. And then you can pull the camera off of the pediatric, attach the monitor, and now your adult blade is ready for ultimate portability. And that's the pocket monitor. So to position the CMAC for an intubation, you can um, easily maneuver the cart around. And so you would roll it right up to the bed. 
and you can actually swivel the arm and rotate the monitor so that you are as close as possible to your direct line of sight to intubate. So instead of putting the monitor on the chest of a patient in a bag, it's now on a cart. So this is pretty close to my direct line of sight for intubation. Okay. So in order to use the scope with the CMAC monitor, you have this toggle button which will switch between two different devices. So right now, we're on the blade. If you wanted to use the scope screen, you would press this toggle button right here, and now you switch to your flexible scope. You unrubber band it. The rubber band it holds it in place while you're moving the cart around so it doesn't fly out. And you want to make sure that you control where the tip of this scope goes. Reason being, we've removed all the fibers from the sheath of the scope, so you won't ever have broken fibers, black dots on the screen, including your view. You now have a high-tech CMOS chip in the distal tip of the scope where your camera and your light source are. So make sure this doesn't go flying around. You want to control where this goes, okay? Um, like I said, you have three buttons at the top for uh, pictures at the bottom video recording circle at the top. The middle is white balanced. I've already white balanced your device. Uh, this is your suction port. You can also attach oxygen and blow debris. Your working port, and then this is your ET tube holder. We have two purposes for this. It, it can swivel right off. Uh, the first one is it'll hold your ET tube in place. So when you're getting ready to intubate, you're going to thread the ET tube up over the scope you can notice that it does not require lubrication as the sheath has been sandblasted for your benefit. Um, and then when you thread it up, boom, it just locks in place. So no longer do you need to tape it up or have someone hold it or have it fall while you're trying to intubate. Um, the second purpose for this is actually when you when you're intubating, you want to make sure that the scope is held as straight as possible. Over time, your left hand might fall and it might um, kink the scope a little bit. When we receive damages on the scope, if it's not uh, transportation or cleaning process, it'll be user error and there can be a lot of strain right here. So make sure that this is attached to protect the integrity of the scope, okay? Um, quick and easy way to visualize the vocal cords. So what you'll want to do is Swing your monitor as close to the patient as possible. And we have these white centimeter markings on the scope. So you'll want to hold between the first and second centimeter markings. Make sure your scope is held nice and straight as possible, no kinking. And instead of just threading the scope, you want to just advance until your fingers graze the lips. Advance until your fingers graze the lips. And then you're going to deflect up, which means pull the lever down and that way you'll have an immediate view of the vocal cords. They might be further left, right, up, down, but this will at least get you where you need to go. All right? Sounds good. All right.